got to stay tuned for after this segment because we're just going to make Pedro run on a treadmill nonstop until he vomits. And that's just going to be hilarious because he's a smoker, too. Uh, this is I Hate Running Backwards. It's from Binks Interactive and the Crow Team Incubator. Um, so this was by some insane Croatians. Uh, and yeah, um, it is done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 10 to 15 bucks of your what particular currency. The devs did send us some keys for this. Uh, what is it? I hate running backwards is a never ending adrenaline packed shoot 'em down roguelite that puts the emphasis on destruction and fighting never ending waves of enemies while time traveling through procedurally generated worlds. Um, yeah, so this is the cheer QA edition. This is where we take a game. We, uh, we, then we talk about it a bunch. We break it down. So we got, we got, we got the facts section where we talk about if it launches the performance the controls and the graphics. We give it one. When we give it a score of one to four chairs based on those guys, and then we have the fun section where we give it a more lovely, dovey, feelsy score based on you know our personal opinions on what we thought of the game. So let's mm. kick this off. Then tell us about I hate running backwards in Ubuntu land. Let me tell you how Tour Rock runs because my dumbass forgot to change the graphic. Um, something's gonna get yes. sorted in post. Um, over here, what are we running on? 1804 LTS of the Kubuntu's flavors. Ryzen 1700, uh, 16 gigajoules of RAM with a 980. Displayed at 1080p, uh, solid 60. No issues whatsoever. Averaging about 30 at 2160, running it at UHD. No issues. Uh, the voxels, it's a voxel game. The voxels, vox. Nothing to complain about. The latest update, or should I say the uh, avalanche of updates uh, that came out yesterday, one after the other, after the, they cocked up some things and... To their credit, they were fixing it. I do still have this issue with the Steam controller. The Areola controller, Gaben's nipples themselves, is... If I start it with that, um, the game starts, everything registers, and you go into like the um, staging area where you can cut on babby mode and all that fun stuff. But you can't make contact, or you cannot go through the Stargate. So... In order to get around that, maybe you're listening at home, you're like, shit, I have that problem. I thought like something was jacked up. Just launch the game with your keyboard, get to that, boop something, then pick up the controller, cut it on, then it works. So, can't ding it at you for that. That's probably going to get sorted and update, but I'll give it a clean bill of health at a solid four. Green Hornet E chairs. All right, uh, on Fedora 2864 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. Yeah, um, there's a hang at the first launch because it's compiling shaders or some shit. And got me a little worried, mm-hmm. but uh, after 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 Ooh, that, yeah, the game that's starts, legit. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, is is, is, is it busted? Am I am I gonna am I not gonna be able to play this? No, it, it, it works. You just gotta. It takes its sweet ass time to get started the first time, and then. Uh, it's all good from there on out. Um, graphics wise, uh, I was getting 60 at 1080 and on Ultra as well as 60 on UHD on Ultra. So it is reasonably well done. But I mean, it's voxels, so it's not the most demanding thing. There's just a lot of little cubes that it's got to track. Uh, the graphics wise, yes, I can tell the enemies apart from the background, which is the <laughs> important thing in a shoot 'em up. So I can't fault it for that. And you know what? I got to give credit where credit is due. This is a game that has proper prompts for the DualShock controller. So I got to give it a big old green check mark for that. Uh, yeah, so four, four across the board for uh, Fedora. What about Solus? Yes, over here on Solus with the Ryzen 5 1600 and the GTX 1080. Uh, yeah, no, that first launch did take a while. 30 seconds in, I'm like, oh, God, is, is it not going to work? So I went a little bit more. I got up, made some tea, came back, it launched. Okay, right. Now, there is one thing uh, that it doesn't do, at least on my end, which is it doesn't remember the full screen setting. Hmm. It always starts in a window, regardless. Uh, But then again, it's a Unity game, so I'm not surprised in the least. Uh, The performance at 1080 was just 60 across the board, even after you disable um, V-Sync, it still stays at 60. I did try to push the uh, graphics to Ultra, but on my end with the lowly, lowly 1080, the best I could muster was 45 FERPs at that point. Uh, on high, though, it still held 60, so that was good. Uh, it's the graphics, yeah, it's just uh, infinite backpedaling Sam in Minecraft land. And the controls, mouse, keyboard, controller, everything works out of the box, and you get remappable controls across the board, which is something you don't see in a lot of games nowadays. So four chairs as far as I'm concerned. All right, well, that's that's four across the board for the uh, 
technical section. How about the uh, the fun section, Ben? Did you have fun running backwards? Did you do you hate it? Hey, man, running backwards is hard. Learning how to rollerblade backwards is awesome until you bust your ass. Um, here's the thing, man. Uh, I, I got to give this uh, game credit. It won. It was the game after eight months that caused my batteries. The battery organs, they went tits up in the steamy controller. Right at this point, right when I first engaged the Red Scorpion. Say, Dwayne the Rock Johnson? <laughs> uh, uh, very tanned. Yes. Um, no, man. That that happened. And I, I laughed because it was right when the boss loaded up. The controller was like, peace out. It's like, man, no, no, no. It's like, motherfucker. All right. Well, I, I'm dead. That happened. 53 minutes of me trying to kill that motherfucker, by the way. <laughs> That's a true story. But I kept coming back because, you know. I, I love it when a game reminds me of an abusive relationship, you know, but there's no online multiplayer. And I know people are getting so tired of us bitching about that, but there's a reason because really for this, the only thing this game has new going for it is just running backwards. Outside of that, it's voxel gorilla war with the serious Sam skin pack and maybe a side of bullet hell. You have plenty of weapons, plenty of upgrades. You get extra damage. Look at that bar up there. By spinning right round, baby, into the level, and you fill a meter, and I guess you get more damage or some shit like that. I did pay a lot of attention, but uh, what it does, it does well. I like it. I mean, the mechanics are sound. It's bog standard, but it gets the job done. But without online multiplayer, shit gets stale unless you've got, like, hey, come over. Let's play a video game. What are we playing? We're running backwards and shooting shit. It's a hard sell. But online, it's something you can pick up, play, have some fun, put down, get pissed off, really put it down, walk around the house five minutes, be like, fuck it, I got to get back in this. Because each level is only about four or five minutes. Then you get to a boss, then you get dead, then you figure out the pattern, then you get good. I'm not saying I hate running backwards. I'm just saying this is not necessarily my preferred uh, method of transportation. But I'll give it mm, acting like I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm really just scrolling down to double check my notes. So I'll give it a solid two. We call that a strider. We say, you know, it's not the best thing in the world. But hey, man, this is priced reasonably at $14.99. Uh, I'll say pick it up. Mm -hmm. uh yeah it's it's reverse 1942 right like you it's 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 a it's a shoot 'em up you you go to the left you go to the right you go up down try and not get murdered that is the name of the game uh and there, there there's definitely there's definitely like a little bit of like the serious sam stuff worked in there and i think it works pretty well like the a wearables are a nice mechanic <laughs> A little, a little this bit. Is, this uh, is like the it even starts okay, in a it, desert. It, okay, no, it's it's all it's all serious. I'm talking about like the enemies and the, the weapons. It's all it's all nice and well done. Uh, the wearables are an interesting example of that, where like this is how so you translate a monster that doesn't really work well in a shoot 'em up context into a shoot 'em up context. I really thought that said Jack off the jungle. <laughs> I, I I mean we we listen. We can talk about that later. Then you know promises promises. Um yeah. Like, like then, my, my introduction to Scorpion was I, I cruise through the level and I'm like, oh, uh, Scorpion, oh, it kicked my ass. And then you, then you learn, you do learn levels. And I ended up perfecting it on the, on my successful attempt. I got the, I even got the achievement for doing it uh, before it even burrowed for the first time. And that was pretty neat because the, the burrowed section is really annoying because you got to run, 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 run. And if it touches you, you just die. Um, is it just me or was the second boss way easier than the first? Oh, fuck yes. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. How about uh, beating the first boss? Did anyone else fall right into that hole thinking you could just go downstairs? No, I did. Yep. <laughs> I, I did. I, I, now, fortunately, I, I, the game I, gives I, you an option to skip level, level back to where you were at. I was like, yes, if I got to yeah. go through that bullshit game, fuck this game. But no, it gave me an option. But yeah, I agree with uh, you, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, the, the the second boss is way way easier than the first one. Um, yeah, it t it turns out that if I if I sing a bunch of Donna Summer songs while playing shoot 'em ups, I can enter something resembling a flow state. So that was kind of interesting. Um, and here here's the thing: shmups don't really do it for me. This is an okay one. It has enough Sam stuff in there that I can be like, okay, it's fun. It's wearables. It's you no, know, it's clear. Got to murder them. Oh, I I hate them in this game too. Um. <laughs> And yeah, online multiplayer probably would have netted this another chair just because you can suffer you can suffer with your friends. But for now it just gets dos. Yeah. 
online multiplayer and my biggest complaint is actually the fact that you can't aim so you're giving me an option to have mouse controls but i can't aim with it why are you, you playing this with the mouse again i tried it i had to try it and it's like oh yeah it works but i can't aim it just uh, your character just shoots straight down and all you can do is move it around now I have mentioned before how the simple inability to do something you expect to be able to do always feels extra limiting in a video game. And while I can concede that, yes, this was by design, I I can't see in what way I can't see in what way not being able to aim helps this game. It certainly didn't help me get past the general feeling of meh I got from the rest of it. Uh, sure, it's an incubator game, and if uh, this is the center that we're looking at for Crow Team Incubator games, by all means, bring them. I like them. They work very, very well. But as good as this game is, it's being sold for actual money now, so it doesn't get that pass. And I, while I can't find any other major flaws, I still don't feel particularly compelled to play this one. So two chairs... Yeah, there, there's and there's a lot of stuff in this game too. You can unlock it. Killing all the bosses unlocks like hard mode. You can mm-hmm. get characters yeah. like Wang from Shadow Warriors in here. Uh, mm-hmm. There's just a bullet. Um, yeah, no, it, there, there, there's def- there's definitely good stuff. Effort was made, and it's it's very yeah. it's very polished. And we should point out very, that very there's polished. multiple players to suit your style, bit ranging from speed to power. I mean, it's your standard, mm-hmm. you know, extra health or super wicked speed and. The or balance damage or that. something like right. that. Yeah. And yeah. you can do special weapons, your power up, you every character, you have two options. You have your main and then you have your special ish, whatever you want to call that. And there there's a lot of serious Sam. I mean, I feel like I'm playing serious voxels running backwards, which is not really what it says on the tin, but that's what it ended up being. Mm-hmm. I'm very so, much yeah. looking forward to seeing more incubator games. Now, if- I will say they threw out like a big, massive update for this. So I, I'm not going to say being a Unity title, I don't think multiplayer, online multiplayer can be completely out of the picture. No. Yeah. And and again, this is like super well performing for a Unity title, showing once again that, yes, you can have good performance in Unity. You just got to know what you're doing. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, have, maybe having access to a company that does a lot of OpenGL work would really yeah. really help um yeah so i think uh, i think that does it. um I, i'd say i'd say give it a look for for uh for five bucks or for 10 or for 10 15 bucks wait maybe wait until it goes on sale um but yeah no it's 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 fun enough i mean it's a it's a shmup that i don't hate and i hate shmups so Indeed. that's the thing <laughs>